Hey guys, so Benton has just come out with the Cacao Moist and Mild Toner recently. The line's advertised to be suitable for oily, dehydrated, and sensitive skin for use any time of the year. So let's start off with the ingredients. The first one is cacao extract, which is antioxidants and minerals, which is supposed to moisturize, smooth, and soften the skin. There's also lots of other humectants, like the butylene and the pentylene glycols, glycerin, and sodium hyaluronate. So if you're living in a humid environment, these uh, ingredients will attract moisture from the air into the outer layer of the skin and keep it there. But if you're living in a drier environment, make sure to include an occlusive layer to minimize the hydration loss, which can occur from your skin to the environment instead. And because there's no preservatives in here, the product only lasts 6 months, so be careful about that. So in terms of packaging, the toner comes in a clear plastic bottle that dispenses really easily, and unlike the serum, it doesn't pull against the bottle opening so it doesn't get messy at all. I find that the product is also really light and has a watery consistency, so it absorbs quickly and cleanly into the skin without feeling sticky at all. So I find that this is really great for the 7 skin method, which I do for my morning routine, and then I'll usually use a little bit more product and, and um, concentrate that on problematic dry areas such as the areas around my mouth and sometimes my eyes. I then follow up with a thin lotion and I find that it's enough to keep my skin hydrated uh, without disturbing my makeup which is fantastic. I also find that really impressive considering it's early winter at the moment. And uh, Benton hasn't included any artificial fragrances in this but I find that the scent is just like the rest of the Cacao Moist line so it's a little bit plasticky but it goes away really quickly by the time I've tapped it into my skin. Anyway, so here's the pros and cons. So yes, I think it's a good product for oily and dehydrated skin because it's really lightweight. I have normal to dry skin at the moment, but I think that it still works well for my skin. But if you do have really dry skin, you probably want to try a different product. That way you can just get more moisture and um, hydration into your skin and give it what it really needs. Also, during the testing period, I did notice that um, because my skin had been playing up at that time, this product was one of the least intrusive, so it didn't sting my skin as much when I applied it. However, I wouldn't say that it was calming either, because I still had the usual um, red flushing of my cheeks when I used the product. But bottom line is that this product does live up to its claims. It's a basic and no-frills hydrating toner, but other than hydration, it's not going to do much for your skin. Anyway, so thanks for listening and um, watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.